our breath to clear our mind of any chatter, like waves washing the shore clean, till our minds are as clear as the water before us. As we light this candle, we take a moment to connect and embody the love right within, the source of all blessing. We offer the luminescence of this flame to liquid light that fills our bodies with radiance and vitality. May our ritual honor and ennoble the water before us and within us, and in doing so, uplift all of life. Settle your eyes gently into the center of this small body of water before you, with a soft focus. And as you gaze at this little liquid life form, become aware that she is gazing back at you. She is subtly perceiving you, your presence, your countenance. Water, please accept our offering of vortexing elements as a token of our love, respect, and gratitude. As the earth was born from water, we offer the earth element back to water. As our sun was born of water, we offer the fire element back to water. As our breath is born of the waters within us, we offer the air element back to water as we sing. Blood of our mother, thank you for the gift of life. May we too give back to you by giving thanks each time we drink, protecting waters around the world and ensuring the clean water is a right for all. As we raise this water to our lips, we recognize that as we taste her, she is also tasting us. As we drink her, she becomes us leaving us into the watershed and into the oneness of all of life. I'm offering you this sacred cup of life because water is life. Bless it, we know water. I offer you the sacred cup of water. The water is life. Blessed be the water. Blessed be the water. that little water ritual and I hope that you get to put it into practice with your drinking water at home. Even just five minutes of conscientious connection with your water in the morning can drastically impact not only the water's quality but also your state of mind throughout the day. Now I collaborated with Carolyn Griffith, a professional ceremonialist, to create this ritual to invite you into a deeper relationship with water in honor of all of the indigenous water protectors around the world. So we really invite you to record your own version of this ritual, whether at home, by yourself, with your drinking water, 
or in a group context, this ritual is flexible enough to adapt it to any kind of scenario, and it's simple enough to be taught and shared really widely. So you can upload your own version and tag hashtag water is life blessing ritual. And you can find more details about the ritual, the science behind it, a cheat sheet for conducting your own water rituals at home, as well as links to all of the water alchemy tools used in this video in the PDF ritual guide that will either be linked below this video or in my bio, depending on where you're watching this. Or you can find it easily on my website, waterislife.love, under the resources tab. So I want to briefly explain certain aspects and phrases of this ritual, just so you understand sort of why we structured it this way. Again, more detailed explanations and resources can be found in the PDF download. So of course, everything in the universe, everything in creation is made of the fundamental elements, right? Earth, air, fire, water, and ether. And the most exalted water contains all five elements. Now we can work with these elements in creating alchemically balanced water and then in turn creating an alchemically balanced physical body too because you are made of water, right? Your body also contains varying ratios of these five elements. Now earth arose from water. Since the beginning, the earth was covered in oceans. Long before the first continent, Pangaea, there was the ancient super ocean called Pampalassa. And balanced water contains the earth element in the form of dissolved buffered minerals that are a key to its ionic conductivity and its medicinal benefits within our bodies. Now fire also arose from water, since fire is alchemically ruled by the sun and born of the sun. And water in the form of amorphous ice midwives and births stars, like in the cloud nursery that birthed our sun, the Orion Cloud Complex. It has enough water vapor to fill the Earth's oceans 10 million times. And there's actually tons of amorphous ice found, uh, amor amorphous ice phase water found in the umbra of sunspots in our sun. The sun wouldn't be the sun without water. And balanced water contains the fire element in the form of light and electrical current. Now for air, we can see that the air arose from water because that primeval ocean existed long before oxygen on Earth, and it gave rise to our atmosphere. And even now, our oceans produce 70% of the oxygen on Earth, and the remaining 30% is mostly produced by water processed inside of plants, the transpiration of trees. So balanced water contains the air element in the form of dissolved gases like oxygen and molecular hydrogen, and water's ability to breathe is crucial for it to be healthy. Now for ether, we can see that the ether is always in communion with water, ether being another name for the quantum field, the timeless, spaceless ocean of energy, which seems to be the non-physical counterpart to the physical liquid that we know of as water itself. Now in this ritual, when we say, as you gaze into the water, be aware that she's gazing back at you and perceiving you, it's because water is a very sensitive being. She is aware of her surroundings and records memories of everything in her environments. She records that into her molecular structure. So water is both a sensory organ of the earth, which perceives both physical and etheric stimuli, and it's a liquid intelligence that remembers those stimuli. And in the ritual, we vortex the water because it brings more coherence to the molecular structure, which creates a liquid crystallinity that makes the water more hydrating and more vibrant and alive. In essence, it just sort of activates more of water's latent capacities that become dormant when the water lies stagnant. Now, vortexes also mimic water's movement in nature, and water just really loves to spiral. Also, it helps to aerate the water, incorporating more of that air element in there, and it can pot potentially uplift the minerals that we added into their ormus state. So when the vortex spins the ions, it induces these tiny magnetic fields, and then the addition of magnetic and piezoelectric light or sound energy just further amplifies the organizing function of the vortex. So remember, just vortexing your water isn't enough to energize it, only to organize it. Even structured water still needs to mature, as Schauberger called it, or to be energized. And this is one of the reasons why we also sing to the water. So big thanks to the vocalist Lindsay Scott for this beautiful song as a part of this ritual. You know, the human voice has a really beautifully symbiotic relationship with water. You don't have to be a singer. It doesn't matter how you sound. What matters is just your sincere prayer because that's the vibration that water receives. She hears your heart and she remembers. And we can clearly see this when witnessing the cymatics of sound vibration in water. The science of cymatics literally shows us how sound influences the geometries within water. So to learn more about how to alchemize and ennoble your drinking water, you can check out my e-course, Navigating the Waters. To check out more of Carolyn's ritual work, go to earthkeeperwisdomschool.com. And to find more of Lindsay Scott's music, you can check out Leela Gaia on SoundCloud. 
Once again, you can find more details about the ritual, the science behind it, and a cheat sheet for conducting your own water rituals at home, information on how to support indigenous water protectors, as well as links to all of the water alchemy tools that were used in this video in the PDF ritual guide. We really look forward to seeing your videos of the beautiful water rituals that this might inspire you to do. And again, please tag hashtag water is life blessing ritual. As always, I invite you to reach out and connect with me on Instagram or Telegram or to subscribe to my newsletter. And I hope you have a really beautiful day and stay hydrated.